and all that stuff. What's up, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, United States of America, planet Earth? Uh, we are back with another edition of Barge 2 Live. I'm your host, Jim, and with me, as always, is this dickhead who needs to <laughs> shave and get well, some just I mean, for men in his beard. You know. Fuck you, Aaron Romeo. What's going on, Aaron? <laughs> well, it's another beautiful day. We're at Scarce Paisy. See, the look. The weather's you... still decent. It was decent. Sucked. You were doing so well. You were all smooth. You were yes. relaxed. And you fucked up Scarpazies. Where's Scarpazies at? Mount Washington. Mount Washington, Pennsylvania. This... I dig it. What's up? We got Raiden back. Raiden's behind the cameras again. What's going on? Ray Don? Nothing. I love it. He's all chilling. He's been quizzing me on some of this music stuff we're going to get to in a minute. But uh, uh, we got a short show tonight. Um, all the crew, uh, everybody bailed. It's uh, the post Halloween yeah. episode. Mm -hmm. uh, so we got uh, Wendy was on her way, but then Pretty she had rough. an emergency. Dale couldn't make it. His car broke down. Billy's sick. He's got food poisoning. Josh is in a corner of an alley jerking some homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> and still, man, still suffering from COVID. So what is up, Pittsburgh? Uh, we got a great show. We're going to talk about the Steelers, how much they fucking suck. Two and uh, six. Two and six Steelers. How do they even win two? It's a miracle. Uh, we're going to talk about the Penguins. Even though the season just kicked off, they're in a little bit of a slump. Happens. Yeah, it's hockey. Early, do you yeah. play hockey, Raiden? No. Fucking I, exhausted. I do. Yeah. Nobody asked you, Aaron. Uh, Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Uh, so, but the uh, hockey, it's an exhausting, uh, but they shouldn't be this exhausted. They're millionaires, for Christ's sake. You want to shoot up some cortisone and get on the ice. Right? Um, <laughs> I know you want to talk about the Lakers. We're going to talk some hip hop news, Lakers, the world yeah, of hip hop. Works, yeah. uh, and that, yeah. that segued into the little. Uh, mm -hmm. Segment we were doing before the show where Raiden was asking me about uh, who, who's this William Eilish dude? And uh, Bill Eilish? Billy Eilish. Billy Eilish. He's like some new singer that I never heard of. That he sings something about being a bad guy. <laughs> um, and I said, What is he trying to be like Billy Idol? Uh, so we'll call him Bill. Uh, what else we got going on? Uh, Raiden has yeah. in his car, what is it, the Oculus? Yeah, the um, Oculus. If we can, I don't know if we're going to have enough time, but we're going to experience some virtual porn. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> get your tissue paper ready. <laughs> it's ready. It's all Aaron ready. Romeo, it's before, ready we take a, well, before we get into you, let's give a yeah. shout out to our sponsors. We want to thank Meineke Car Care. Meineke yes. in Castle Shannon and Pleasant Hills if you are experiencing some car trouble. Give Meineke Mike a call. They're going to check it out. They're going to take a look at your car. They're going to tell you what's wrong with it, and then they're going to fix it until you're like, yeah, go ahead. And that's cool, man. And mm -hmm. guess what? If you can't afford it because times are tight with inflation and shit, what do they got? Easy pay. They got it's easy an pay. Option called Easy Pay. Very nice. Pay a little up front and the rest later. I like it. It's up to like 90 days, uh, mm -hmm. interest free, and uh, credit mm -hmm. limit of like five thousand dollars. <throat> it's just huge. Because if you're driving huge. a shit car like I'm driving, you know, you're definitely going to want to take advantage nice. of that. But go ahead and give Mike Mike a call. He's going to be there Monday through Friday. Uh, good dude. Also, we want to give a shout out to Iron City Beer. Iron City, Icy Light, Icy Light Mango. Make sure that you drink responsibly. Uh, another one that I can't wait. Go ahead, give it to them. Tell them who it is. Who's our next uh, sponsor? Husky Bro Comedy. Oh, good, good job, dude. Next one. Give it a shout out to the Reverend Dale Miller, Husky yes. Bro Comedy. He's got a show coming up in Conneaut. Um, yes, what is he it? Hotel November Conneaut? 5th. Or? November 5th. So check that out. You can check out Husky Bro Comedy. And uh, we got. Fist of, what is it? Fist. Fist of Productions. Yes, Fist of Productions <laughs> Entertainment came out with Butcher the last game. He's like, Fist of Bro, yeah, Incorporated. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Tell him about Arm Fist of Productions. Fist of Productions, they come out with these specialized games. Dude, I can hear it. Yes. I'm then. sorry, not to cut him off, but he's testing his accent. He does this yes. thing where he has he's like he's this mixture yes, of Russian and French accent. It's it's stupid, but he's trying. He's like they have these games that they're coming <laughs> this out. This game with. and this is on wrestling, but um, yeah. So they are homebrew games for the NES. Uh, you can also play them on Argon, which is an app that you can download. But uh, it's pretty cool. They just came out with a new one. So they have the Carpet Shark, which was their their first hit, big hit. Uh, they got the, the plummet challenge. The carpet muncher. The carpet muncher. There you go. Yeah. They have the arm wrestling challenge, which is really great, which arm I'm wrestling. featured in. I'm a character. I love it. Love you guys. Um, and then the newest thing that they got is the horror trilogy. You can play as your favorite Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, or Freddy Krueger, and you can hunt down some of these bee hotches, uh, and you can play the games. But those three games are available on NES or Windows uh, download. So go ahead and check those out. 
Um, and then last but not least, we have our newest and great, one of our greatest sponsors. Who is it? It's a room. It's a tiny room in Oakdale, PA. What is it? The Red Room Boutique Crystal and Metaphysical Show. Way to not fuck that one up, dickhead. Yes. With your fucking paws yeah, and shit. And we're, uh, she'll be eventually back. She's going to come back yet. Yeah, we're going to have Tara back. She said something yeah. to me about uh, she's going to do every third uh, Tuesday of the month or something like that. But you know what? She's always welcome to come back whenever she wants. If she just pops in, she pops in. Tara, we love you. You're the best. Um, she's got something cooking. Now, we were talking about this last time. I'm not going to bring it up because I want her to announce it, mm. but it's something similar to it. Cooking. Uh, we have, um, she's got this like paranormal activity going on at the yeah. Red Room Boutique mm -hmm. Crystal Metaphysical Shop in Oakdale, PA. Yep. Mm. Uh, but we are going to try to get our Spirits and Chasers episode out there where we're doing a drunken paranormal investigation. I love it. I've never done it before. Raiden, have you ever been on a paranormal investigation? No. What a great They're pause, fun. buddy. Good, I had to good think show. about it. <laughs> They're fun, interesting. So before we get into the news, it is November 1st, All Saints Day. It is also my kid's birthday. Molly, I love you. Happy 13th. You're the best. Stop growing up and getting on my goddamn nerves yes. with that shit. <laughs> growing up happens. Hey, Aaron Romy. <laughs> What's in the news, buddy? It's in the news. Well, um, well, music. You had this all. Like, we sat here pre-show. We talked about what we're going to talk about. Music, well, music related. Don't jump into that. Let's let's not talk let's about music. First. Let's can't. talk about sports. Let's talk about the world of Steelers, because that's your big thing. You love talking about sports. Let's get into sports first. What's going on with sports? The Steelers, well, two and six. Uh, they have the bye week this week, and uh, you know we'll see what they have. Eight games left. Nine. Nine games. In <laughs> I'm asking you a question. Oh, so, that's even creepy. I don't even know what I want now. <laughs> oh my god. I saw that on Megan's Law site. <laughs> Alright, so the Steelers. Two and six. Don't know how they won two. What's going on with the Steelers? They can't get things done. Their offensive line's depleted. The other defense can't catch. I is, mean, it, they can is it Tomlin's the, first losing season? Quite possibly could be. I think like you know, it's it's heading to that direction. I wanted to ask I mean, you about this. What what makes it a losing season? Is it when you're like sucks? Was yeah, it because it sucks? Yeah, one loss. We have a, we have a viewer here. Never good coach. He's never good. Coach. He's never a good coach. You have any input that you want to talk about? You want to sit? Oh, you're playing with it. He has. He's never never had a losing season. Fucking doesn't mean nothing. What? Yeah. Is, but what is a losing season? What do you? He never had losers. Under 500. Saying, under yeah. 500 makes it so a losing what, season. What does 9 and 8 mean? I don't know. Winning it season, yeah, it means it's nothing. nothing. Yeah, so a so, I never so it's, a, it, it's, a, it's basically like a title they give him to make him not I'm just saying he never had a losing season. He still sucks. He's terrible. He beat Schottenheimer's record. And you know who's the best? He, he, he did, no. You know who? They should fire Tomlin and they should hire this guy. What's his name? Matthew Canada? I hear he's the best all around. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, no, he's, right. he's terrible. He'll be, he'll be gone eventually too. I'm he'll sure. be gone. You think he'll Poss make it the rest possibly, of the season? Yeah. How often do do coaches get fired during the season? Uh, it's happened frequently over the years. Not with the Steelers. Steelers. Not with the Steelers. They don't, they don't yeah. like to do that. Yeah, they don't fire nobody. They don't fire shit. No. So, so they got a bye week coming up, and then yes. who's, who's after that? Uh, Aaron, I'm going to kick you off the show. I'm just going to pull him as in my co-host. You're supposed to be ready with these fucking answers. We're live right now. I know. I had a New before. Orleans. New yeah, Orleans. Against that. Thank you, sir. Home game. Saints. Home game. Saints. Bengals next after that. That's a night game. All right. So it's, we're going to lose to the Saints. We'll be 2-7, and seven, right? Yeah. The Bengals are pretty good. 2-8. So and eight. So that's officially a losing season. Yeah. I mean, I, they should be able to play better. I Hopefully the bye week does something to them where they're... You know, kind of like no. practice a little more, iron things out. You know. No, they lost the guy. Who would they lose? They lost Chase Claypool to a trade. Uh, he was traded to the Bears. He stunk anyways. Didn't Second he have like one? Pick. Didn't he have like uh, one? Which was a good trade. They got a number two pick. They got a number two pick for for what? 2023, mm, right? Yep. So, but he stunk anyways. His stats were terrible. Yeah. And would catch some, drop other ones. 
Yeah, and that's, that's technically what yeah, that yeah. is. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that. Uh, all right, so Steelers have bumped this season. What, what else? We got the Penguins. Penguins, the season just started. They're kind of in the slump Fresh a little bit. It, yeah. But it happens. Yeah. They go down, they go up. Uh, but it is kind of early for them to be doing this. They're kind of sucking. Shot. Up. So what is it? They're kind of sucking. They're kind of sucking, but, you know, they got to get into the groove. You know, they'll, they'll be back up there. It it's happens. The, it's hockey. If you don't make it in the playoffs, you kind of suck. That's yeah, pretty much yeah, it. 82 yeah. games. They still got it. how many more games? Uh, 900. 938. <laughs> so, like Penguins, don't worry about it. We actually had Claire here, the bartender from uh, Scarpazzi's in Mount Washington at the end of Shallow Street. Uh, Claire actually yeah, won two tickets sure. to the game tonight. They're playing the Bruins. And she Eight hit me up. Yep. She Eight hit me up. She's like, uh, you want to go to the game? I was like, shit. If I'd have known Dale was gonna call out, Wendy was gonna call out, Everyone. Josh was gonna be in an alley somewhere, Check I would have took the tickets. Yep, I would have took the tickets. I would have took my kid to the the game for her birthday. Aww. But uh, she's a dance right now, and it is what it is, and it is what it is. So, um, another thing I'm happy about that we don't talk about too much uh, the World Series. Oh yeah, game Phillies, three tonight. Game three tonight, Phillies and, and the Astros, right? Mm. Now, I am excited because the Phillies. Uh, I don't really care about them, but. Yep. Uh, I have family and I have friends that live out in Philadelphia. I'm pretty excited for them. I couldn't, I couldn't care less about the Astros. And the last time they won was in 2008. Was it? They beat what the significance Devil Rays in five and games. What significance does that have? Right? Just saying the last time the Phillies won. So and the last time they years? were in a World Series was in 09, but they lost to the Yankees. What, what is it? What are they playing? The World Series. The World Series. He can't say world for the world. World. It's fucking great. <laughs> um, all right, so. And then Astros won in 2017. Yeah, they, they, were, they cheated were there though, last right? year, yeah. And they're they cheating the again. Scandal. They're doing it again. Aren't they using signs? I don't know. I don't yeah, but, remember. Fucking uh, I, I do. I am excited. Like, uh, I, I'm not a big baseball fan. But uh, my nephew just uh, started playing for West Virginia University. He's a pitcher. So, Rob Porco, you're the best. I can't wait to get one of the jerseys. Go down to Morgantown, West by God. Watch a little WVU mm. baseball. Yeah, that's uh, you don't care. <laughs> you don't give a shit. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's talk about. Uh, I don't want to talk about hip hop yet. Yeah. Because we'll... we're going to get into your little segment. You know the, uh, the Raiden's Who Do You Know segment. Um, let's talk about Aaron Romo. Let's talk about this fucking movie that you're in right now. Yeah. New movie coming out. What's it called? It's the Bel Air House, Heatherington family, and it's, it has the Island Boys, uh, the fake Drake. The Pete Island Boys. And it's, and it's such a great movie. They got the fake Drake. And the, Who the and fuck the is H, the fake Drake? He's like a, he's a viral person that went viral looking similar to Drake. Uh, well, who's Drake? <sighs> what? You guys keep talking about these people like I'm supposed to know them. Famous hip hop artist. Hip hop artist. Drake. Yeah, yes. hip hop R and B. From Mexico? He's from Canada. Toronto. He's yeah, from Toronto. Canada. Yeah. He's a hip hop artist from Canada. Sure is. That's awesome. Uh, the, 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 the bar's getting all rowdy. Yeah, the around. fake Drake's actually coincidentally from Canada. Is well. he now? Yeah. How do you know it's not the real Drake? Just playing yes, like no, Roman. It's not. it's not him? But he has like similar. Did you check his ID? Yeah. Maybe. All right, so you heard this movie. <laughs> I got close. <laughs> Shit, you know. You're in this movie. Can, can we switch the camera over to Raiden real quick? Because uh, your, your faces are classic. I, I, I love the <laughs> transition. But uh, your, your, your reactions to, to, to my talking to him are, are brutal. What, uh, what, what am I missing about this whole Drake thing and this hip-hop thing? You, you were, I don't want to get off the subject of the movie because we're talking about this, this fantastic Oscar nominee, possibly 40-minute, Ben. what is it? Vimeo movie? Mm. It's fabulous. You can rent it for five dollars or you can buy it for ten. Me personally, I think I'm going to I'm gonna block off 40 minute segment and I'm gonna get the movie and we're just gonna air it on here for free. Because fuck you, Aaron. <laughs> but anyways, I so always might come after you. we'll talk about um if you don't want to be on camera, you know, you're all embarrassed. I'm about to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> but uh alright, so let's talk about the movie. What's it about? You said the Bel Air House. It's, it's got like a super long name. 
and it, the name is longer than the movie itself. It's a haunted house, an actual haunted house in Delaware, Ohio. And it comes That's out November 1st, which is appropriate because yesterday was Halloween. It's correct. It came out today. Day after Halloween. You're missing the significance of this. And it's, and it's a haunted movie. There's uh, killers in the house. Wait. Is People. it a haunted movie, or are there killers in the house? Okay, but it, it's really a haunted house in real life. It's a haunted, one of the top haunted houses in the country. Is this a true story? Yeah. And what happens in the movie is a bunch of people go there to stay there the night. Like a horror film type of cliche, basically. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's like not much different than a lot of horror films, but... I love that he's given a brutally honest review of this movie. That, uh, Airbnb, and they were like, oh, well, I don't know about this place, and there's, like, killers staying in the attic, like, this whole are time. They, are they and demonic they, killers, or are they real killers? Yeah, killers? demonic killers, but real killers. <laughs> they can't be both. Characters, their characters are now, killers, but, like, <laughs> physical people, it's not spirits. Is there nudity? No. Then why would I want to watch it? Yeah. <laughs> I know our own Ash it's, Irv, which she goes actually, by. It's very Ashley Irvin's in it. She plays, uh, who does she play? One of the uh, visitor's guests. One of the guests in the house. Hey, don't tell me in the credits she's listed as like guest number two. Does she yeah. have an actual name? That's ah, awesome. Yeah. Way to go, Ash. We love you. All right, you're in this movie. Mm. And what do you play? I'm one of the party people, one of the people at the party, but I escape, and, and then... <laughs> do, 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 and give then, me a line from the movie. Is it like... I don't have oh! No, I don't have I imagine, did you ever see, like, when you see Current the Frog on the screen, and he's like, the... <laughs> That's what he does. He's like, Oh my God, we're going to die! Whoa! I'm listed as one of the behind-the-scenes people. You're listed but, as a behind-the-scenes? Yeah. I, <laughs> you're listed. Thank you, sir. Ah, see, this is what it's like when we have an audience. I love it. It's great. Do you die in the movie? No, <laughs> no I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you're not really giving a plot. So, these dudes, do they get high? Do they drink and smoke yeah, weed? Yeah. So, yeah. so, they drink and smoke weed and they... <laughs> So, alright, so it comes out today, and the Island Boys are, and nobody <laughs> knows who the Island Boys are. Are you serious? You, I don't know the You don't watch boys. TikTok then. I don't. I don't, uh, don't that. worry about it. You ain't missing that. <laughs> yeah. Island Boys. TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's they, they got are. their tattoos all over their head and shit like that. And then like the, the corner oh, yeah. shit like that. Well, I'm right? looking at him. Oh yeah, he's listed behind the scenes. Oh, he's definitely behind the scenes. His head is like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wait. I haven't done that. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. You sure you don't want to be okay? When I was in the military, yeah, I had it that. Oh yeah. my god. So, oh, yeah. the Island Boys, they, do they, what are they doing? They just show up. So you, you rent this house. Everybody's getting high and drunk. There's no nudity, which means this party sucks. <laughs> and then the Island Boys just show up. Yeah, they're not in the house scenes. There's scenes of them in prison, calling from prison. They're calling from prison to yeah. say, hey, we're sorry we're not at the party? There, there was a set in Miami when we were in Fort Lauderdale, Miami. We filmed Listen. there in this jail cell <laughs> on the film. I don't know you if it's Oscar or... Yeah, of course. Maybe Golden Globe, That's, but I don't I know. Mean, it's starting to sound a little low, but and at 40 minute runtime, I, I don't know, man. It's I'm not. It, it might not be your big break. But what's it called? The Bel Air House, House. Hun Huntington Heather Heather Hetherington family. Hetherington family. Bel Air, and you can find it on Vimeo. Yes. Um, so, for so five dollars to rent, ten dollars to $10 own. Then. Why, if, if you have ten dollars and you don't spend it on utilities, and you spend it on this movie, then you were one of the high cash members. And you should have your electric turn off. And you should have your electric turn off. But go ahead and watch uh, the yeah. Beller House because it's the best. Thank you for the comedy and the humor. We love you, buddy. Uh, but uh, it's great, man. I'm looking forward to it. Is there a sequel lined up? 
like the next, the morning after. Possibly. You know, wherever we, all the ghosts hand out Plan B pills <laughs> as they spin on. It's great, man. I'm glad about it. So, let's shift over to the. What, what is our minute mark right now? We're at 21. We're at 21 minutes. I don't know how we're gonna go for like 55. Right, yeah. Get off your phone. Eight times looking at the time. Awesome. So, hip hop. The world of hip hop. Migos. Migos. I'll let you take it. Go ahead. Take off with Shug. Killed, age 28. That's it? And over a dice game, supposedly, that's what I heard. So, supposedly, him and who's the guy that he sings with? Quavo. Quavo. Mm -hmm. They were shooting dice at a bowling alley. Okay? Nothing wrong with this story to start off with. <laughs> so they're shooting dice at a bowling alley. And they got shot. Is this 1992? Do they still do that? They still shoot dice outside and get shot? So he's shot. He's dead. Offset. Dead, wasn't right? There. Yeah. Offset. Wasn't, wasn't there. Now, who's Offset? He's the other member of Migos. What is Migos? Three Are they Migos, like island boys basically. that nobody really knows? Are they yeah, just they're YouTubers? Popular. They're, they're, they're so popular. popular. They're popular? Yeah. I've never heard of that. Which brings us to our next. Okay, so he's dead. All right. Late, later. Take off, took off. Right, he's gone. Oh, so, <laughs> too okay. soon? Yeah. That's all. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> all right, so, it's a while. so this led us into our discussion before the show about I've never heard of these people. And then you brought up this Bill Eilish dude. Yeah, Billy Eilish. He he sings, I don't know, he's got a very... She? Yeah, okay. she. Yeah. He's a she. He's trans. No. I, I know that girl, but I don't listen Bill, No, no, Billy Eilish. Um, and then you brought up, uh, you had a list. Yeah. You talked about some dude named True, True Gravy. Young Gravy. Young Gravy. Don't disrespect my mans. Don't like disrespect that. my mans. <laughs> young Gravy. Yeah. Uh, sounds like Young Curl, who's also in that terrible movie that you were just in. I'm looking forward to renting it tonight. Uh, I was looking, you know. But uh, give us give us some names of some other people that I have not heard of. All right. There's two people that you should know because they're from this city. All right. You know who Mac Miller is? Well, he's dead. So what? Yeah, that's the only reason I know who he is, though. Okay, do you know who Wiz Khalifa is? Yeah, he's the guy that smokes all that, that hashish. He does smoke a lot of weed. He smokes weed. Yeah. And he has he eats Oreos. And that Snoop, Snoop Dogg? He smokes more than Snoop Dogg. Snoop Doggy Dogg? So that's what the truth is. Is that what he smokes? Yeah. He smokes more weed than Snoop Dogg. Oh, that must be nice. So we just glorify, hey, let's all smoke some weed because it's, it's, it's legal, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I know Wiz Khalifa, Mac and Miller, Mac, Mac Miller. Yeah. Um, okay. You don't know. You don't know who T Pain is. No. I don't understand T Pain. T Pain has been is he famous. from Pittsburgh? No. But he's been famous for like twenty years. Literally. All right. If you're watching this, uh, the the four people that are watching right now, <laughs> leave some comments in in this comment section with names of people. I'm gonna tell you if I know them or not because I think you're bullshitting me. No. You I'm brought up so this whole serious. list of names of people that I never. This heard is of. just my like songs on Spotify. Do you know who Tenacious D is? I do. Oh, come on now. Okay. How do you right. not know the D? All right. I know Tenacious D. All right. But that's not hip hop. No, it's not. Do you know who Juice World is? No. Okay. That's like the the drink. Like, oh, that's Orange Julius. Is that a rapper? Orange Julius? Juice. No, that's the place that's connected to Dairy Queen. <laughs> do you know who Dua Lipa is? Yes. She she's got the she doesn't really wear anything. Okay. My kid listens to her. Okay. Mm. Do it, Leva. It's like that dog. You, you don't know who Tech Do Nine is. No. Tech Nine's been famous for a little. Yeah, I think like I think Tech Nine's been famous longer than I've been alive. See, if we were <laughs> playing a different game right now, if we were playing name these porn stars, I'd be hammering it left and right. But this is. I don't, I don't listen to it. Do you know who shit. Kanye West is? I do know Kanye. <laughs> I, I know <laughs> get it. I know him. <laughs> Yeezys. Uh, he's getting a bad rap right now. Kanye, we love you. You're, you, you know who Ludacris is. I do know Ludacris, but he's an actor now. He did, Ludacris, he did yeah. a bunch of stuff. But the, the, the whole thing is, we were talking about it, like this piece of shit that's on the radio right now behind you, that Post Don't, Malone, Post Malone. he's garbage. My friends told me I look like Post Malone, so no. I started calling myself Kellogg Malone. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the camera. Do you look like Post Malone? Apparently. No, you don't look like Post Malone. You don't look homeless. Sometimes. You look healthy. He looks like he's a crackhead. But the whole point was, 
we were talking about it. We said yeah. how music is an original. Yeah, you're that, right. Elton John, he just did that that new song with Britney Spears. She's garbage. You know. She, and, and, and it's her a music of, isn't for your demographic. It's a it's a remake <laughs> of, it's a remake of his old songs. I don't know how she gets away with that shit. But I don't know how anybody gets away with it. So she's just a feature. Like there's a new song that, that they have. A, it's like uh, Super Freak. It's a, it's a rip off of Super yeah. Freak. But why can't you just make up your own beats? You can't tell me that there's not enough original because, beats out there. Because everything is sampled nowadays. Everything sampling. has been sampling. That's what it's that's what it's called. called. Everything sampling. is sampled. Why? Because nobody's original. You know how hard it is to be original in the year in, in the year of our Lord 2022. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that fucking hard. I, I, I can I can profit, I can write a song in like a day. Is it gonna be good? No, but I can still do it. You don't know who Logic is. He wrote the he wrote the, the he wrote the song the the Suicide Hotline number song. No, I okay. don't even know what that is. That's he wrote a song was... for the Suicide Hotline. Yeah, like the actual hotline that you call. Like the up? name of the song is so the name of the song is the number for the Suicide Hotline. Yeah. That's a real long name for a number for, for it's. 1-800-some-numbers. That's the name of the song? 1-800-SAFE-AUTO? Yeah. No, not Safe Auto. It's like the 1-800-number no, It's like the one -800 it's number not a plug call. for Safe Auto. Just Which I've you. called that hotline before. Have you called that? Yes, the Safe Auto? Yep. You got the phone, the call was free? In the past, yeah. You know who Brock Hampton is? Brock Hampton. No, that's made up. No, I swear that's to God. That's a porn star. I swear to God it's not. Oh, Hampton. that's what we could do. Because you were supposed to eat shit tonight, but you didn't need to bring it. Because you're a fucking loser. <laughs> you were supposed to bring oatmeal. We we're gonna do the oatmeal challenge tonight. And you're like, oh, I didn't bring it. And I'm like, why? You're like, I don't know. You know? I was in an You know who Eminem is? I do know Marshall right. Mathers. Eminem like is Coach probably Malone? the last hip hop guy. He's not even hip hop. He's. You know who Two Chains is? No. Okay. Two Chains? Yeah. Like one Two Chains? Yeah, like two chains with a Z. Yeah. Like the number two and then chains with a Z. That's too much. Why can't people just be like you know John who, Miller? You know who J. Cole is? No. There you go. John Miller. J. Cole. What? J. Cole? J. Cole. That's his like name. J, then Dash, and J. then C. Cole. No, it's 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 J. Period Cole. Oh, that's dumb. That's his name. That's you stupid. Know who Glenn Miller is? Glenn Miller band? Yep. What about Kid Cudi? Kid Cudi? Yeah. No. B.O.B. Yep. B -O -B. Bob? No, it's B O B. Like there's a period in between all of them. That's dumb. He's a flat earther. Is I it think. like? Is it like marshmallow? You know marshmallow, but yeah, because you know? I was gonna be him for Halloween. I thought he was like a, a comic book character. I didn't know that he was like a DJ. Or yeah, he's a DJ. This is all my. You said Bruno Mars is ugly. Bruno Mars, he's not but an attractive. Do you the weekend? Like yeah. Saturday, Sunday? Oh my god. Yeah. The oh, the guy that sings with yeah. the hair and stuff and yeah. everything? Yeah. I know The weekend. You know who Black Bear is? No, I don't. Neo. No, I don't. Neo from The Matrix? No. <laughs> Rick Ross. Rick Ross? I don't listen to that shit. If it's not ACBC or anything like that, I don't listen to You know who... Never mind. Alright. You don't know who Lil Dicky is. I don't know who Lil Penis is. Lil Dicky. Let's talk about something I want to talk about. Let's get off because clearly I don't know hip hop, and hip hop today sucks. As you call it, what did you call it? Mumble rap. They're like, we're talking about blah, blah, blah. mumble rap. It's fucking terrible. But uh, I want to talk about your Oculus. Yeah. Um, and, and and if we can, I, I, I definitely wanted to get Daniela here, give her a shot. Oh, yeah. So, Danielle. but um, you have an Oculus in the car. I do. And it is uh, it is set to free porn. Is it Pornhub? Yeah. All right, awesome. Uh, when was the last time you used it? Uh, for that? If we can get it in here, can it hook up to the computer? No. Is there any way to see what you're seeing while we're watching? I don't think so. We'll figure out a way. Okay. I do have, do you put your phone in it? No, 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 no. It's not like a phone one. It's like you strap it on your head. There's controllers. Like you have hands and everything. Dude, that sounds awesome. That's why I wanted to bring I it in here. here. First, you got to disinfect it, and then you got to bring it in. <laughs> I wanted to bring it in here so that you guys can play bar fight. 
and we can record it. Oh man! Yeah, that's an old game that uh, I, I wanted to play. You had bar fight on that? Yeah, but it's like it's like a VR bar fight. Oh, so, I like, know. There's like buttons on the controllers, and you can like swing and hit people. And I you remember see when it. that came out. That's a great yeah. game. We tried to get something similar to that, but you know, obviously, I'm not a millionaire. Yeah, I'm I have on this bar show fight. Like Scarpazes in my Washington. I like Tuesday to. Today. I like to fish. I, we had that, well, yeah. we did that on Barjizu Sports. We had, we had Bass Landing and, and we had the, the fishing, but it wasn't virtual reality. Oh, yeah, no, I virtual reality fish because uh, I don't have time to go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I don't have time to do shit. But I have, I have a virtual headset where you put your phone, phone in. Yeah. And it's pretty cool uh, because like, I was like, all right, how, how good could this actually be? And it's really good. Oh, just wait until I bring the Oculus in. Oh, so we'll have to set that up for next week. Yeah. Um, speaking of next week, it's not next week, but the week after, uh, we do have a special guest returning to the show who will be returning once a month. Uh, one and only Medicated Pete. He is going to be on the Howard Stern Show tomorrow morning. Uh, big segment coming up. We're not allowed to talk about it because we don't know it yet. But a uh, big, huge segment that they're doing. Uh, we're pretty excited about it, Medicated Pete. You're going to bring in your Oculus, your, your uh, virtual jerk-off machine, and we're pretty excited about that. So, um, like I said, what we're going to do, <laughs> we're gonna start, are you excited about it? You fucking sicko. Um, what we're going to do is, uh, we are bringing back the, the live events here to Scorpion. Oatmeal Challenge. Uh, so that everybody knows, you're going to do the oatmeal challenge that you keep saying that you're not going to. Um, we're going to bring, what's up? What is the oatmeal challenge? So the oatmeal challenge that he's done before, what he does is he brings a bowl of oatmeal. And then we bring all these ingredients. Doesn't matter what it is. Oh, gross. He mixes yeah. it up and he eats it. It's disgusting. Okay, it's gross. He mixes it, it up and it smells like hot garbage. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> I mean, oatmeal has a terrible texture anyways. Oh, but his, it's, it's, and he, eat, and we tell him, he only has to eat a couple bites. He puts sardines in it. He puts, it's, it's gross. Whoa. But uh, the, the, the stench is off it. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to bring back the, the oatmeal challenge. I was going to um, do an X videos version. No, you're not going to do it. <laughs> Stop with that. He asked me every week. He's like, I want to. I want to put some man juice in it and uh, eat it. <laughs> and I'm like, just come out of the closet already. Dude. My own man juice. Oh my god. He's like, no, it's not gay because it's my own. <laughs> What's wrong with you? And that's going to get us banned on Facebook. Yeah. Thanks for talking about that. Um, but what we are going to do is Tuesday nights, we're going to start bringing back the, uh, we're gonna bring back the beer pong here, the Barjitsu Beer Pong League. So we can start airing it on Barjitsu Sports again. Plus, uh, we're really excited about the trivia game show. So we're going to get some podiums in here and we're going to do Jeopardy style trivia where we have the red buttons, the, the Bluetooth red buttons that we hit. Um, we're going to put it up on the big screen and we're going to have the, the players go and we're going to have a host. So we'll do a trivia night here brought to you by Iron City Beer. It's going to be pretty exciting. What's our minute mark? 33. 33. You got anything you want to add? Uh -huh. We're going to cut it short tonight. Yeah. Shot of the week, Danielle. But before that, yeah, uh, let's more get music. Out there. More music coming out. I'm working on a giant song. You're gonna work on some music. Yeah. Huh? I and I still like, can't wait to see. So, you have some writing too as well. And we definitely got to get you going. The day in the life of Aaron Romeo. I'm so waiting for that. It's and in pre-production right now. And the uh, the You're other one right. where I'm getting. We're gonna be a killer with a sign. That's not the international sign for being a killer. That's for you getting raped by the back. Yeah. And then there goes our lighting. You all right there? Yeah. But uh, is she coming up? Yeah. She got no shots? She's in the middle of an order, but yeah. She's in the middle of an order. So we get it. we're going to have Danielle show of the week. Oh, shit. And everybody's kicking stuff. You kick the light, you kick the camera. That's Sorry. Great. It's awesome. I love it. Sorry. We're going to have to get new cameras anyways, because eventually we're going to move up to the front of the bar. Uh, we're going to be down here. Hopefully, they'll, they'll be able to move that back up. We're going to be in that little cubby, cubby hole. That's where they do like open mic. Don't they do open mic singing? Are you ever gonna yeah. come up here and do it? That would be cool. Would that be cool? Mm. Here. Piece of shit. Thank you. Are you gonna shave next time? Maybe. You know what's funny? I say that to him just to jag him off, but he's gonna come in like all neatly trimmed next time. He's like, whoa, you know, you like you said it. And, uh, he gets all self-conscious <laughs> about it and everything. <laughs> but other than that, what else? What else is going on? Graydon, what do you got going on in the world of Graydon? Every time I mention your name, we're going to have to add it to the show where we do the zap, the zzz, 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 you know? Uh, nothing. It's great. I, yeah, I um, I was in the mountains this past weekend. Oh, damn it. I love this. Turn your camera on. Damn it. 
You were in the mountains. Yeah. Were they broke back or was it just regular mountains? No, they were just regular mountains. We and were what were you doing in the regular mountains, my friend? <laughs> One of my best friends from college is getting married. Oh, is and he? She is. Oh, she's getting married. Yes. So, me and my friends from college, we all went up to the Adirondack Mountains and it was my friend's bachelorette party. Oh. My girlfriend was with me. Okay. I feel hope so because at a bachelorette party, they don't normally have female strippers. Uh, they, didn't have, they didn't have male strippers either. Oh, come on now. No. Uh, no banana hammocks. No, nothing. No nut slingers. What do they call them? Nope. What do you wear? What do they? What do the speedos call them? Wear? Boxers. Yeah, you don't have boxers. <laughs> so what happened at this uh, this soiree? Uh, you know, I don't know. We watch movies. My friends are boring. Like, I love them to death. We're boring. We're old. Right now, Tara Davis is watching this going, come on, dudes, what the fuck? I was waiting for a good bachelorette story. No, I don't have any. I mean, we, I broke a ping pong table, but all I did was bounce a ball on it. And it just, a bowling ball? No, it was a ping pong ball. I was going to teach my girlfriend how to play ping pong, and I went like this, and it bounced, and the table went. <laughs> this sounds like you could have came to the show last week. No, I was in the mountains. <laughs> Next time we're gonna have to do. Uh, I was. We were call. Yeah, you get to We were. Um, I mean, they were trying to summon some uh, cryptids. What the hell is that? Oh, so like Bigfoot, um, the Wendigo. Uh, Wait a minute. Chupacabra. Okay, we're, Chupacabra's Mexico. Yeah. We don't have that here. No, How do you but summon all... Chupacabra in Pittsburgh? Well, New York. Well, no. The one that they were trying to summon in New York, I'm not going to say the name of, because that's how you attract it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Shit. There's... The you don't know parts. shit about... Fuck. <laughs> am, I allowed to, am I allowed to reference another podcast that I listen to? You sure can. We reference all podcasts. Okay, cool. Here. I listen to this podcast called Morbid, and they call them Flesh Pedestrians. Flesh pedestrians. Yes, yes, it's a different name for what they're called. Um, you have a seat there, little miss. Cool, I don't have to talk anymore. They, <laughs> <laughs> yes, because uh, I'm sure we were losing it. <laughs> so, we got Danielle here Hello. with Danielle's Shot of the Week. What's going on, Danielle? Hi, tonight we have the Autumn Berry, and it's vanilla vodka, simple syrup, uh, elderberry, blackberry, cranberry, pineapple juice. Smells. This sounds delightful. Oh my god! That's like heaven in a glass. <laughs> what is it called again? Autumn berry. Autumn berry. Autumn right. berries. Danielle, shot of the week. Autumn berries. Here we go. Oh, see, I would drink that as an actual drink. Yeah, that's why I, they're really all drinks, but for you guys, they're shots. Ah, oh, it was very good. <laughs> to make sure, just like every other shot of the week, you can come up to uh, Scarpazzi's, ask for Danielle's shot of the week. Yes. She will make it for you. Uh, that is very tasty. I like it. Thanks all right, so much. Thank you, guys. Good luck, too. Nice little fun. Other than that, like I said, that's it. We had a lot of call-offs for the things. We are, I'm going to end this uh, with, with something we talked about last time. And this isn't a shot at Wendy or, or even Tara or anything like that. We are looking for more females to come on and host the show. So if you are interested and you want to be a co-host of the show, make sure that you contact us, send us a message, drop us a comment or anything. You may know somebody, you may know a lot of people, but you actually know them from stalking them. That's a little different. That's what yeah. <laughs> but uh, make sure that you contact the show. We'd love to get you on here. We try you out. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. If you like it, you want to stick around, guess what? Host the show, that's great. But uh, I mean, other than that, you know, um, shout out to the sponsors Monkey Car Care, Pista Productions, Red Room Boutique, Crystal and Metaphysical Shop, uh, Husky Bird Comedy. Make sure that you check out the Reverend Dale Miller of the Conneaut, uh, was it the Conneaut Hotel, November 5th, right? And um, I guess that's pretty much it. You know, so, from all of us here at Bar and Iron City Beer, please drink responsibly, folks. We'll see you next time.